Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a powerful, versatile, lightweight, and affordable power amplifier from Crown. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the Crown XLS 1502, a two-channel power amplifier that's part of Crown's XLS DriveCore 2 family of power amps. It features a lot of power, incredibly lightweight due to its Class D design, and versatility for matching it to exactly the application that you have for it. The amplifier is very simple to connect. On the back panel we have XLRs, RCAs, and quarter inch inputs, so you have a variety of different ways to hook up external gear. Those quarter inch inputs can also be used as outputs for chaining additional amplifiers for more power. For outputs we have binding posts for the speakers, or you can use speak-on connectors. On the front panel, each channel has an LED meter that shows you signal levels, as well as when you're going into clipping or when you have thermal overload issues. We have a gain control for each channel. Then we have a display here in the center where we can set a lot of different functions, and we use the three switches underneath to adjust those. The XLS 1502 is stable at 8 ohms, 4 ohms, or 2 ohms of operation, and it'll provide up to 775 watts at 2 ohms. You can also use it in mono bridge mode at either 8 ohms or 4 ohms, and at 4 ohms you get up to 1550 watts of power. To access the menus and the different functions, simply press and hold the menu select button for about a second and you'll have your different options selected there. The first one is amp mode. Now we have three different amp modes available to us. Stereo operation, where each of the two channels operates independently. Bridge mode, where the two channels operate in mono and give you double the power. And input Y, where we send one channel of signal in but it comes out of both outputs. Next we have crossover and this is very interesting. There actually are DSP based filters inside the XLS 1502 high pass, low pass, as well as band pass. The band pass filter is used for tuning the response of the amplifier to either the room or the speakers that you're using. But the high and low pass filters can be used to actually establish a crossover inside the XLS 1502. So if you set up one channel with a high pass filter, the other channel with a low pass filter, you can adjust the crossover frequency and basically run a biamp system with this single amplifier. We have two different options for input sensitivity either 1.4 volts or 0.775 volts. You can match this to whatever equipment you're using to drive the amplifier. Next up we have the system menu. There are a variety of interesting options here as well. So if we select that, first up we have display sleep. You can allow the display to go to sleep so it's not shining or so it's not visible when you're in a, a dark venue. We also can control the lighting so you can turn off the meters, you can have the meters show or not, you can have the panel lights on or off and so on. We step back here. We have security options so you can lock people out of being able to access the different settings. And this is great if you're using the amplifier in an install situation. We also have information that will tell you what's going on with the amplifier. Finally, we have factory reset, which restores all the parameters to their original factory settings. In addition to all that versatility, the XLS 1502 has another feature that is of course very important, and that's that it sounds incredible. All Crown amplifiers sound great, and this is no exception. It has all that punch, all the dynamic response, everything that you'd want out of a power amplifier in an 11 pound chassis. I remember when I was on the road, hauling the power amps around was always a major chore. With an amplifier like this at just 11 pounds, it's no problem at all to take this on the road with you. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the XLS 1502 from Crown. It's an incredible power amplifier, it really can be the heart of a system, whether you're running bi-amp, mono, bridging it, using it in stereo, RCA inputs, quarter inch inputs, XLR inputs. It really covers all the bases in an 11 pound package that's so versatile, so powerful, and so lightweight. It's also incredibly affordable. It's a great amplifier to add to your rig. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher.